Hello all and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gaming World. So, what do I have to show you this time? Well, I've picked up a few more games. If we just head over to behind me, we can see a couple. Uh, first off is up here, as I've run out of uh, room for any more Xbox One games, they started to sit on top here. So, what have we got? Well, first pick up this week, we have Devil May Cry 5 for the Xbox One and this lovely uh, lenticular sleeve. There you go, Ooh, popping out there. So, I haven't played this yet. I did play a demo, it's quite impressive. So, look forward to getting into that one. Uh, moving over here, uh, some other pickups. We have Super Runabout. So, this is a pretty cool arcade style Dreamcast game that I look forward to showing you in a in a moment. So we're going to show you a bit of footage of uh, me playing this off the TV I'm afraid, but uh, hopefully you get an idea of what this is about. Arcade driving game, not about racing, it's about driving around uh, a city collecting things and delivering them places. So a little bit like Crazy Taxi in that respect. Next up, Namco Museum DS and I picked this up mainly because of one thing, it's got Pac-Man Versus on it, uh, which is great, and ha not having to use a GameCube to play it multiplayer is quite a nice, a nice thing. Is because I've got no GameCube here at the minute. But if um, I can find some other people with uh, DSs or 3DSs, this has wireless DS single card download play. So anyone knows Pac-Man Versus will know it's an excellent multiplayer game where. Um, one of you plays it pa takes turns playing as Pac-Man while the other is a ghost and try and escape. So obviously the ghosts, um, Pac-Man's job is to eat the ghost. Ghosts have to either attack uh, Pac-Man or get away from it. Very cool. And it's also got other games on it as well. Uh, these are featured in a lot of other Namco collections. Gallagher, Pac-Man, Dig Dug 2, Xevious, uh, Tower of Juaga, Mappy, Galaxian, so yeah, Namco Museum goodness, and hey, Pikmin, pick this up for under a tenner, um, would like to give it a go, because uh, it's the only Pikmin game I haven't actually played, so I'm um, looking forward to, uh, to giving this one a go. So let's take a look at Super Runabout. Okay, so we're playing Super Runabout on the Dreamcast and just an example of how quirky some of these missions can get, we're searching for ingredients for a hot dog at the moment. So we've got the lettuce, so, so basically you do jobs where they involve um, driving around the city of San Francisco and collecting things. Uh, you can choose from a variety of vehicles and uh, yeah it's basically just go around the map looking for what you need pick it up and get it to a destination it's a very arcade style game as you can see there we're under a time limit quite Japanese as well in its uh, quirkiness uh, reminds of course it might remind you a bit of crazy taxi uh, driving around the city a city that's uh, modeled on San Francisco at least uh, trying to find certain things and getting them to somewhere else but of course you collect all the objects first and you have to just get them to one particular place what we got oh we got another bun okay so it's it is a case of collecting all the individual um, items first you know I'm causing some damage there by smashing into vehicles I'm not sure how much of an effect that has yet on your overall score at the end you see it's a bit like san francisco rush uh reminds me of that at least and crazy taxi of course maybe maybe even a bit driver the way that the uh the civilians sort of run away from the car yeah but the cars are a little at least this car's a little hard to to handle so I think you'll know from this video, apologies for the quality of screen, uh, sorry, filming off a monitor, if you like this game or not, but it's solid arcade fun, don't take itself too seriously. Not too difficult actually, I think you get enough time, it's just I'm making a bit of a meal of this one. Um, quite literally, 
I'm making a meal and the meal is hot dogs and here's another ingredient boom got the lettuce so that is a super runabout for the Dreamcast pretty fun stuff so you may ask what else have I been playing this week well I can certainly tell you uh, it's actually these last two weeks because uh, we didn't do one the other week I think I'll make these every two weeks now uh, sometimes a week I might not play so many games, not kind of pick so many up, so two weeks at least gives us a chance to kind of uh, play some games, because that's what I actually did last weekend. I played a load of games, but that meant I didn't have time to uh, do a video about them. So what did I play last week? Well, I spent a lot of last weekend playing um, Halo 3 and Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I'll just talk about Battlefront 2 for a while. So I've had this for a for some time now, and I'm playing it on the Xbox One. This was prior to it becoming a PlayStation Plus free game. And I started the story mode, I came back to it last weekend and was really struggling a bit. So I decided to drop the difficulty level and I was breezing through it, but I did find the game kind of dull. And maybe it's partly due, due to the fact I was playing it on a lower difficulty, but I wasn't having fun playing it on the high difficulty because I really wasn't getting very far. I find that the uh, gameplay is quite uh, simplistic really, uh, shoot these waves of stormtroopers usually as they're coming to you, the space stuff is usually like there's a few targets you have to hit, so shoot the targets basically and then um, that's that bit done. I don't think the space stuff is, it should be more satisfying, I'm not sure why to me it doesn't feel quite that way. I think the game looks beautiful and there are some proper cool Star Warsy moments. Some that spring to mind is driving the the Atat at one point and uh, ATST later on in the Lando mission. Uh, occasionally we get to play as Star Wars characters that we all know and love from the films. I think the Lando one was particularly uh, fun because Lando had a lot of great dialogue and he was... Uh, what was it? He was, he was neatly to collect some weapons from a facility and sourced. Here, climb into this cockpit. Hey, uh, can you move? Your cape is in my way. I know. You have no sense of personal space. But I have a great sense of style. You know what you're doing, right? Of course. Unauthorized input detected. Security lockdown initiated. Nice. It looked like a power button to me. Okay, new plan. This place runs on lava, right? Yes. Why? What are you gonna do? Improvise. You just find us a ride out of here. Whatever gets me farthest from you. You're flooding the factory with lava? No, I'm shutting it down. With lava. But ended up burning the whole place down, destroying the weapons with it as well. And there were a lot of sort of cool one-liners from Lando, which made the uh, mission quite fun and entertaining. Otherwise, it's a little bit more dry in terms of the story. It's an interesting story, at least, about uh, the Inferno squad who uh, come in to clean up after the Battle of Endor. Aiden Verso is uh, the main character of the game. And she leads uh, Inferno Squad and uh, along the way they come to realise that the Empire really isn't all it's cracked up to be basically and join the Rebellion. Uh, but what's odd is there's still quite a lot going on with the Empire even after the Emperor's demise. And of course you, I guess you need to do that and it's all under the guise of uh, something called Operation Cinder which the Emperor had, uh, it's like a failsafe that he'd uh, put in place should he um, be killed. So he delivers a message to uh, Aiden Verso's father, who is uh, an imperial uh, leader, and uh, this is his project. So it's personal, I guess, with Aiden and the father, and uh, the point where I'm at now, not quite finished the story mode, but we're, we're trying to um, capture. Adam Verso's father and sort of bring down this uh, Operation Cinder project so hopefully uh, we can restore peace to the galaxy once again but I did think that happened in Return of the Jedi so there is that. 
Some of the missions are a bit odd, they try and sh shake things up a little. There's a mission where you play as Han Solo and you have to uh, interrogate, well, ask questions. It's a very short, it's in Maz's castle, it's very short. You, you, you're looking for a particular person and the beginning of the mission is you talk to someone, they tell you, no, you don't want, you want the other person. So you're going up and down these stairs asking people where this person is. And the gameplay is not interesting in the slightest. The dialogue's not interesting. Hansel's got a beard, that's pretty interesting. But otherwise, it's a very dull moment in what is meant to be an action game. And I find it odd why they include that. I'm all for variety, but when variety is that dull, then why put it in an action game? Elsewhere, there's a lot of fun action sequences. I like the bit on the boo with um, Leia, that was quite fun, and uh, the Luke mission was also nice. So yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think of uh, single player in Battlefront 2, because I think for some you'll be able to uh, play it with, with few problems if you're an experienced first person shooter player, but uh, if you're like me and aren't uh, particularly great at first person shooters then you might want to drop the difficulty and then is it a satisfying experience once you do that you get the story but the gameplay just feels overly simplistic and uh, there, there is little challenge there the saying that i did actually die a couple of times playing on easy difficulty so i don't know really what what the best difficulty level for me and um, the other game i've been playing a lot is halo 3 and halo 3 is just fantastic. I mean, why has it taken me this long to actually play Halo 3? I played the first couple of missions, but uh, having picked it up again to do a Tom Plays, which are live streamed on Twitch, you can check that out over at Twitch until it disappears because I can't download it from Twitch properly. Um, on a little side note, streaming on Twitch seems to be a bit uh, a bit ropey at times, especially when you come to downloading things, because on a couple of occasions now, I've done stuff on Twitch, downloaded it, tried to upload it to YouTube, but it's not been able to process the video, or the video has uh, processed incorrectly. For example, the one hour, 40 minute Halo 3 video I made ended up being one minute, 40 seconds, and the video, everything I did in that time was sped up to fit one minute, 40 seconds. Uh, very odd, it's meant that you didn't get to see that Halo 3 video on YouTube, because I just didn't have the video to uh, upload there. Uh, so, yeah, it happened, something weird happened with the Sonic 3 video as well that I couldn't upload to YouTube. So, there's that. Anyway, Halo 3. Um, when you put Battlefront 2 and Halo 3 side by side, you can certainly see the superior game. <laughs> uh, Halo 3 has uh, a level of design which is beyond that of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. The levels are well laid out and, and, and offer variety and of course you've got vehicles as well in the mix. As you do in Battlefront 2 but everything is a lot more satisfying in Halo 3. You've got that great soundtrack, that, that great original Halo design, uh, fast pace, gameplay, the entertaining enemies with great AI as well and overall it's just a more satisfying experience than um, Battlefront 2 just makes me want to keep playing whether Battlefront 2 felt like a bit of a chore to get through so oh, another mission with occasional moments of oh this is fun whereas Halo is consistently engaging and enjoyable and the game still holds up very well today. I'm playing it as part of the Master Chief collection, which uh, I have to say was a little bit weird to get going when I, when I tried to play it because it had to migrate some files and it didn't tell me it was doing that. The game seemingly had um, frozen before even loading the main menu screen. So I looked up online, found out you have to wait 10 minutes for these files to migrate. I guess it's because I haven't played the game for a while, it's been updated so many times, it had to do something, but the sheer fact it didn't tell me what it was doing before I could uh, start playing the game was particularly weird. Anyway, um, regardless of all that, Halo 3 on Xbox One looks and plays great, and I'd absolutely uh, recommend revisiting uh, Halo 3, or if you've never played it before, then um, and you're a fan of first-person shooters, then just give it a go. 
Uh, playing normal difficulty, it's challenging, it's fun, I'm engaged, I keep replaying um, sections of missions that I struggle on because it's so much fun. And uh, the vehicles can cause a little bit of trouble. Uh, that was a particular section I was struggling with a bit. Um, you find that your infantry that, that accompany you aren't always the best or, or, or aren't actually very helpful. So where you're up against a couple of uh, enemy tanks and the brutes uh, wheel bikes, there's like five of them flying around. Uh, it, was, it was quite a difficult uh, section of the game, although I got through it and I felt very satisfied for doing so. So yeah, I haven't got enough good things to say about Halo 3. So that about brings me to the end of this episode, so thanks uh, very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying these videos, I'll be back for another one, another couple of weeks. Tell you what, if, if I do happen to play a lot in the week and have time to talk about it every week, then um, I'll certainly do that, but let's say for the time being, every two weeks, uh, that way there'll be plenty to talk about. There are actually games this week that I uh, have played and haven't had a chance to talk about because I want to keep this video down to a certain length though we'll see, we'll see how that works out. I will mention I'll be playing a lot of Earthworm Jim HD but we'll have to leave that until next time. But uh, thanks again for watching and until I see you again for another one of these videos it's goodbye and game on! Thank you.